Flora, a botanical pop-up book. Every flower begins as a bud. Their blooms produce seeds, which root into sprouts. Spring brings rain and warmer weather, which encourages plants to produce flowers. While all flowers share the same humble beginnings, They come in a stunning range of brilliant hues and exceptional shapes. Annual plants have bright, showy blossoms that last a single season. Perennial plants survive many years and tend to have smaller flowers. Many peony and poppy flowers open in sunlight, closing at night and on cloudy days. Jasmine flowers release their fragrance after the sun sets to attract nighttime pollinators. Flowers have special colors and scents to attract bees for pollination. Bees turn nectar into honey to feed the colony. Many species of bees are endangered due to climate change, habitat loss, disease, and pesticides. Sweet floral nectar feeds tiny animals and insects. In return, they share their dusty gifts of pollen with other plants. Hummingbirds can drink up to two times their body weight in nectar a day. When butterflies land on flowers, pollen is transferred to and from their legs. More than 300 species of fruit depend on bats for pollination. Flowers produce fruits and seeds after pollination. Critters deposit fruit seeds in new areas through their droppings. Some seeds are airy enough to flit in the wind. Others are carefully armored for years. Every fruit starts as a flower, but not every flower produces fruit. While some flowers grow on land, others flourish in water. Aquatic plants nurture wildlife by filtering water, creating oxygen, and providing shelter. Plants that grow in water often have flexible stems that either float freely or reach into the soil below. Life is enriched by flowers in many ways. With purpose and beauty, they help nature survive and thrive.
Join us at books.com or download the app. When water heats up, it turns into warm, wet air called vapor. Vapor rises into the sky where it becomes cold and turns into a cloud. The cloud becomes bigger until it is so heavy that parts of it fall to the ground. What falls? Raindrops. Kitty will find a place that's dry. Let's look for Kitty. Want to try? Do cats like rain? No. Water makes a cat's fur feel very heavy. Cat's ears cannot keep water out, and they don't like the way it smells. For Kitty, it's rain, rain, Go, Go away! away. <laughs> Raindrops are falling on Mama Duck. She likes the wet and mushy muck. Do ducks like rain? When ducks comb their feathers with their bills, they leave a layer of oil on top. The oil makes water slide off. It keeps the feathers that are closest to the duck's body dry and warm. In a lake or in the rain, ducks are waterproof. Rain won't scare a squirrel away. He stays busy on a rainy day. Do squirrels like rain? If it is not raining too hard, a squirrel will curl its tail over its head to make a built-in umbrella. In heavy rains, squirrels stay in their nests to keep dry. Brown beetle's shell is shiny and hard. He doesn't mind a rainy yard. Do beetles like rain? A beetle has a hard, shell-like covering that prevents it from getting soaked. Worms are squirmy on wet ground. They squirm and wiggle all around. Do worms like rain? Yes. Earthworms mostly live and travel underground because they need moisture all the time. After it rains, you will see worms because it is wet enough for them. They can wriggle along much faster above ground. Under leaves to butterflies rest. Keeping wings dry is what's best. Do butterflies like rain? Rain makes butterflies too cold to fly. They hide out in protected spots called roosts until the storm passes. 
when the sun comes out, so do the butterflies. Bird peeks out from a hole in a tree. He says, look, no rain on me. Do birds like rain? Some do, some don't. Most small birds tuck themselves away in nests or the inner branches of a tree or bush or under anything that will keep the rain off. After a rainstorm passes, you can go outside and listen for all the birdie chirps. The Boy Who Grew a Forest. The True Story of Jadav Paying. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is now. Proverb. In India, on a large river island, among farms and families, hard at work, there lived a boy who loved trees. Trees meant shade, food, and shelter for many. But each rainy season, Floodwaters swallowed more and more of the beautiful tree-covered land. The boy's precious island was shrinking, eroding away with the rushing river, leaving empty sandbars behind. The boy witnessed animals stranded on those sandbars, their homes destroyed. He feared that if animals withered without trees, people would too. The boy shared his fears with the village. The elders explained that the only way to help animals was to create new homes for them. They gifted the boy with 20 bamboo saplings. Alone, he canoed down the muddy river. He wished he could cover all the land with trees. But a large sandbar nearby was a place to start. The land was too barren for animals. 
The shore's too sandy for leafy trees. Would bamboo grow? The boy hoped. Determined, he began to plant. One shaft, two, then three. Every day, he watered the saplings by hand, sweat trickling down his face and chest. He built a watering system to help and lugged heavy buckets from the river. His arms grew tired, his back sore. Still, each day he tended to the plants and over time, the bamboo patch grew into a healthy thicket. The boy was proud of his work, but he worried it wouldn't be enough to stop the swelling river or to provide shelter for animals. If he wanted more plants to grow, he would have to create a richer soil. He carried cow dung, earthworms, termites, and angry red ants that bit him on the journey to the new home. He brought seeds from neighboring villages. over trails, through brush, down the river. Each day, he planted. As years passed and the boy grew, so did a forest. 10 acres, 20 acres, then 40. Wildlife returned for the first time in many years. Buffalo, one-horned rhinos and snakes, gibbons, migratory birds and elephants. The man's forest teemed with life and diversity. Not everyone was happy. Fear swept over the villages when tigers arrived. So the man planted more grasses to attract small animals that would keep the tigers happy in the forest. Elephants wandered into neighboring farms to feast on the crops. So the man planted more fruiting trees to help feed the hungry elephants. Some wanted to harvest the forest to build homes. But the man was there to plant anew. Others tried to hunt the animals for their horns and fur. But the man was there to protect. Few thought the forest would last, but the man believed in its strength. Now in India, on a large river island, among wildlife and trees as tall as buildings. There lives a man who has planted a forest. The forest is called Molai, after a man named Jadav Molai Paying, 
who never stopped planting and pruning and protecting. Only by growing plants, the earth will survive. Jadav Paim. Join us at books.com or download the app. Leaves. An autumn pop-up book. A leaf seems simple. But leaves do many things. A leaf contains green chlorophyll that helps it use sunlight, water, and air to make food for the plant. As days shorten, Autumn's brilliance flutters down. With less daylight, chlorophyll disappears from leaves and bright colors show. As leaves drop, some birds migrate to warmer places. Hungry critters hide under the layers. The hedgehog curls up in a prickly ball to sleep, its spine sticking out for protection. Wet, matted leaves are homes for frogs, insects, snails, and slugs. Leaves rustle as animals hustle for food. Chipmunks scurry among leaves and stuff their chubby cheeks with seeds. Squirrels bury acorns and nuts under leaves to store for winter feeding. Mushrooms pop up on the forest floor. Mushrooms often grow in damp, leaf-covered locations. Deer eat mushrooms, including some kinds that are poisonous to humans. If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of storybooks that are brought to life. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. Seriously, you have to check it out. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Books app for free today.